43% of respondents to a survey on our YouTube channel have a smart Bluetooth enabled toothbrush. Whilst many brushes now come with smart features as standard, I was quite surprised the stat was so high. I've yet to establish how many still use the smart features after the first couple of months though. Maybe I can find out in a future question for our viewers. If you're one of those smart toothbrush users, let me know if you use the app frequently by commenting below. This is the last update for 2023 and it'll be the last of this series of updates too. So it only seems fitting that I'm still awaiting delivery of Tallow Brush and Instafloss, both of whom featured in the first toothbrush tech video back in quarter one of 2021. Tallow Brush has provided a more recent update to suggest progress is being made, but it would appear I'm still a long way off receiving the unit I paid for three years ago. Instafloss have begun shipping. The first batch, which I was not a part of, has exhibited some issues in a number of units. Kudos to the Instafloss team. They've reached out to backers offering a number of solutions and confirming how each individual backer would like to proceed. I've opted to get mine as soon as possible. I know the next shipments have left the factory, so it really should be any day now. Clean Teeth by Dent Freak, which I've reviewed and features numerous times, has been acquired by Swiss dental healthcare company Curaprox. The brush has been rebadged as Samba and is being targeted towards users with disabilities, primarily in the USA at this time. Whilst I wasn't willing to promote it as a solution for all at the time of review, I do genuinely believe for those who have health issues that limit their ability to clean their teeth, Samba can make a difference. For some, it will allow them to clean more effectively. For others, it will offer independence and the ability to brush with more ease. Whilst dental care products are launching regularly, there has been a slight slowing in the more dramatic innovations, such as mouthpiece toothbrushes, we have seen over the last few years. I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing. The basics of a good electric toothbrush haven't changed for years. That is for good reason. They work. I do believe more recent developments can further enhance usability and experiences, but these things need time to evolve, to be tested, improved upon and made as useful as possible. Rather than quarterly updates, I will be publishing news pieces as and when necessary. I'm continuing to test lots of new brushes and accessories. I've tried some more affordable options powered by removable AA batteries. I'm testing a number of new Bluetooth enabled brushes and you will see reviews of some newer brands on the channel too. As we move into the new year, I will release my updated recommendations for 2024. We're in the process of rolling out a new website design to all our regional sites. If you want a sneak peek, head to www.electricteeth.com forward slash au. We've got a couple of useful features coming to help selecting products like an electric toothbrush even easier. I'll be sure to share these as soon as I can. As ever, if you have any questions or want our opinion on a product, be sure to get in touch.